Oh, you just did the teriyaki? Yeah. Okay. Love you. We'll be back. Alright guys, we're here. We're at Wild Side Outdoors and Adventures in Centerville, Indiana. For our annual youth hunt. Let's go in and meet Ryan. And This used to have a 10 speed deal. Well, the grass and everything was getting cooked on. So I ripped all that off, and so there's no gear changing except for your speed. Mm -hmm. um, now it's 16, 17. But yeah, I, I ain't gonna go 27 mile an hour across the field. Right. <laughs> there's a big boy in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. Down here to Wild Side Outdoors Adventures down Centerville, Indiana, right? Yep. Is where it's pretty much at. Yep. It's kind of around Connorsville, Richmond, Centerville area, east side of Indiana, central. And um, we made it down. We got everything unpacked. Maddie and Ryan are getting ready to head out to set up a blind for one of the kids. And I'm going to show you the lodge. So let's go. You guys go get set up. Maddie, you pay attention with Ryan. No talking real loud because this is where some kids are going to be hunting. Alrighty. You guys head out. Yeah. So, alrighty. See you in a little bit. We'll see you in a little bit. You almost have to break it. Okay. Okay. And there's a. Not far right there. Well, th this bone here. Yeah. Feel, feel this. That's the strap. That's what you're right. Don't under it. So, oh, watch okay. your fingers. Yeah. Go under it either way. Yep. There we go. Okay. That's where I was talking about. Yep. And then, then the there's that one. joint. Yep. This is what I'm done. I want. This is what I'm doing. So if I, if I get done. Gotcha. So when you get done, I have to trim it like that. Okay. I take that frog out. Alrighty. So I don't trim that frog. No. <laughs> no, no. What we do with these, we grind them up for dog food. Uh, okay. And they, they love it. But yeah, no. No, there's that bone there. Just go right underneath it. I'll do it. I'll do the last bit. <laughs> That's it. Let's just start off here. 
This is Joe, he's the cook, and we are going to eat phenomenal evidently this weekend. He's making some chicken thighs here. I don't know what he's doing with them, but it looks good already. Can't talk so, about it, it's competition stuff. Competition stuff. So we brought ribeyes, we brought pork butts, brought chicken, ribs, we got everything. So we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna go wash my hands up and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the lodge. Just had to show the cook how to cut up some thighs. So hopefully I didn't offend Joe too much. This is a, a pretty nice lodge. We've been to a lot and the setup here is neat. They've got these different lockers for everybody's equipment. And you know, they come in, they got their muddy boots on, they take them off, undress in there. That way they don't have to come in here. So come on in here. This is where everybody sleeps. We've got the main bedroom in here where we're staying. Pretty neat little setup. Got two bunk beds up top. Me and Maddie will be up there. Got Dad and Tabani down here. Pretty cool little setup here. Here's kind of the, the hangout, great room. Got a huge big screen TV. Got some awesome mounts up top and evidently all these have been killed around this area. That's a stud up there. This is another room, kind of a laundry room, but bathroom in there, got a bed, got a couple little bunks up there. This door here goes on out to the where we just come from. Got another kitchen area up here. This out here is kind of like the patio. Um, just set, play cards. Got the spa, I might be in that later. Got the old whirlpool. We got dad trying to follow us around. <laughs> Back here we got another, they call this the master bedroom. To be honest with you, this is kind of like a home for me. I'd love to have this as a house. This is just awesome. And then out here is the last thing I want to show you. This is probably where the kids are going to be hanging out the most. Got a little bar over there for the adults. Got a little game room. Got a little, what do they call this? Foosball or something? I was never any good at this, so. Made it. Don't even have to put quarters in it. Tell you what, it's gonna be tough for the kids to even go hunting. They might just stay in here. <laughs> oh, got a couple racks I wanna show you. But this here is kind of a shame. They found it this year shed hunting. You know, it's kind of a bittersweet thing with this because, you know, they've been, following it for years and it's had to have spread around a lot of genes but then to find it dead you know is a little upsetting but at least it you know survived long enough to pass around some genetics our first time ever being here but Ryan really looks like he's you know got it going on so hopefully a bunch of the kids get to kill some turkeys and we have a lot of fun then we brought Maddie down here because she's one bird away from getting her slam. She needs her Eastern. It's in our home state in Indiana. And hopefully tomorrow morning, she's got her single season grand slam with a crossbow. So stay tuned and thanks for watching Field to Feast Outdoors. There I was, back in the wild again. And I felt right at home, where I belong. That feeling coming over me again Just like it happened so many times before Hey, Maddie!